what's up? Welcome to Craftopia's Quick Crafts. I'm Lauren, your host and DIY expert, and today we're making a craft that is so freaking cute, you're gonna wanna post it, like, immediately. Look at this little baby phone beach chair! I have a really big phone, so I feel like my phone is taking up the entire chair, but how cute is this? If you're like me, you're stuck at home, but that does not mean that we can't bring the beach inside. Let's get started and here's what you'll need. Six popsicle sticks, one eighth to one quarter inch diameter wood dowels, bamboo and wood skewers also work well. You may even have those in your kitchen. A sheet of craft foam, craft felt also works just as well as foam, a ruler, a pencil, scissors, hot glue gun, and glue sticks. So I'm gonna start by measuring the width of my phone, so three inches, and then adding another half inch on top of that. And that's gonna measure out my first two cuts on the round wooden dowels. So three and a half, and... Oh my god, math, 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 wait, is that... So these are gonna be two identical pieces of the round wooden dowel. Next, using hot glue, I've got two popsicle sticks and the round wooden dowels are going to go between both ends of the popsicle sticks. And you're essentially going to be forming a rectangle. Next, we're going to create a second element that's almost identical to this rectangle we just made, except for these round wooden dowels are going to be one eighth of an inch shorter than this original element. So if my original one was three and a half, I'm gonna go one eighth less than that. And then again, using hot glue, I'm gonna adhere those two round wooden dowels at the ends of both of these popsicle sticks. So we've got our two rectangles, one that's a tiny bit smaller that can just slide in like this. And to hold our chair together, you're gonna need two more popsicle sticks. You're gonna measure and cut off one inch and one quarter from both popsicle sticks. So there's one. And these pieces are going to be the lower back corner of the chair. And using hot glue, I'm gonna set our chair in place. Go ahead and repeat that on the opposite side as well. Pro tip. For a pop of color, brush a coat of bright acrylic paint or apply a coat of spray paint to your chair frame before attaching the seat. Next, I'm gonna cut a sheet of craft foam that measures three and a half by six and a half inches long. And this is gonna be the seat of our chair. Pro tip, consider cutting striped or tropical flowers out of a contrasting color and gluing them to your chair seat. So now as best as you can, I'm going to try and attach foam to foam here on the bottom and then on the top portion as well so that your seat can actually slide around a little bit. And I'm gonna finish it off by just flipping this over and doing the same thing on the back. and our foam lounger is ready for resting and relaxing. Okay, so I need a friend or a phone friend to come hang out in my other beach chair because I feel like we just need to make a whole beachfront property. In your spare time, you could totally make a beach chair for every member of your family. Thanks for joining me for today's Quick Crafts. And be sure to look out for more creative crafting on Craftopia. It's a new Max original series that features some of the most incredible crafts made by the greatest young crafters in the world. Bye guys!